A mysterious lady in Torquay, England passed away and is found by police. While searching the house, they stumble across documents that detail a secret life like no other. This is the World War II story of Eileen Neard. Eileen was born in London, March 1921, but grew up in France where she learned to speak fluent French. During wartime, Eileen and her family returned to London to escape the Axis threat that was looming over France. Eileen's bilingualism did not go unnoticed, and she was recruited into the Special Operations Executive, or SOE, often called Churchill's Secret Army. Spies in the SOE were involved in espionage, sabotage, and intelligence gathering within enemy territory. Eileen started as a radio operator, but was quickly thrust on a mission deep into occupied France. In March of 1944, Eileen would arrive in France under codename Rose, designated to set up an underground network called Wizard. This network secured finances for the resistance and would eventually lay a groundwork for D-Day activities. Eileen would relay messages to London while avoiding German infiltrators. She would communicate with code words that would later be said in BBC broadcasts to confirm authenticity. This is the BBC Home and Forces Programme. Here is the news, and this is John Snare greeting you. As such, she was constantly looking over her shoulder and on the move, one step ahead of the enemy. Where the average SOE agent lasted a month or two in the field, Eileen was able to send over 100 messages over a five-month span, providing valuable intel. In late July 1944, however, her luck ran out. On one fateful evening, Eileen was in the outskirts of Paris sending a message when her hiding place was discovered by German soldiers. She managed to burn the message that she was sending, but her radio equipment was found. Eileen was captured and taken directly to the Gestapo headquarters. There, she underwent horrific and brutal interrogation methods, which included drowning, but she didn't break. Eileen gave no information about the network, her fellow resistance fighters, or their methods used. In fact, she was so convincing that her captors believed she was recruited by a wealthy businessman to send messages to London, and she didn't know what they said. Her bravery and secrecy likely saved hundreds of French resistance lives. Eileen was moved a number of times until she eventually landed at Markelberg concentration camp in April 1945. Incredibly, during a night march, she was able to escape with two other female prisoners into a nearby forest. They were arrested a short time later, but Eileen was able to talk her way out of it. The women continued on their journey until they found a church and hid there until the U.S. troops showed up. In recognition of Eileen's service, she received the Cross of War by the French government and was appointed as a member of the Order of the British Empire, or MBE. Given the traumatic experiences she had endured, Eileen had a hard time adjusting to a normal post-war life and remained secluded, eventually moving to Torquay. Once her story was discovered, the British Legion arranged for her funeral and by her wishes, her ashes were scattered at sea. Eileen and her sister Jacqueline, who was also a spy, were the inspiration for a number of novels which I've linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more stories.